Shrove Tide, I hope you enjoyed that short intro from my childhood. Sorry I got the flu a little bit so my, my voice is not the best today. In this video I will talk about this often quite neglected holiday and some of our customs during this time in Finland. I will start with a brief history. Shrove Tuesday and the preceding Shrove Sunday have been celebrated for a long time in Finland. Shrove time comes around six weeks before Easter, which marks the start of Lent, a 40-day fast before Easter. In the Catholic and Orthodox Christian traditions, it is celebrated during the three days before Ash Wednesday, the first day of Lent. Carnivals have been celebrated in Catholic countries since the Middle Ages and the word carnavale comes from the word carne and vale, which means goodbye meat. Catholics abstain from meat completely during the entire fast before Easter. However, in Finland, after the Reformation, folks no longer fasted, but many Shrovetide traditions continued. Laskiainen has also included a lot of pagan customs prohibitions, magic, and observing omens. Many of them were related to women's work, such as flax and hemp, uh, the raw material for handicrafts and cattle care. The growth of flax was secured when women let their hair loose and brushed it diligently. In the old agriculture society, People thought that following these customs would have a positive influence on their next crop and also their income. During Shrove Tide, you were not supposed to work during the evening and especially not using sharp instruments. Household chores were kept to a minimum and women would see spinning linen. People would concentrate on eating fatty and heavy foods. It was believed that the more fatty foods you ate, the fatter the pigs would become and the more milk the cows would produce. The grease that got stuck in the fingers was not wiped off because it guaranteed a good ability to handle the skies. Food was kept on the table for the entire Lenten day so that there would be plenty of it for the whole year. When Finnish people say liukasta laskiaista, they are telling you to have a slippery sledding day. And that is a good thing, because every Finn wants to have a good slide down a fine snow-covered hill during the festive days of Shrove Tide. Shrove Tide traditions included a tobogganing event. The further you could sled, the taller your flax would grow, and the bigger your rutabags and turnips would become. Various shouts and wishes were part of the descent. By shouting, you hope for a good harvest for your own house and a slightly worse one for the neighbors. Traditionally, people called out pitkiä pelladia, hienoja hampuja, räätikkäitä kuin nurkan päitä ja nauriita kuin lautasia. Long flax, fine hemp, rutabags as big as corners, and turnips like plates. 
The future could also be predicted by how white and full of snow your clothes got. The whiter the clothes were, the longer and whiter the linen would grow. As always, a sauna was prepared to enjoy during this time. Nonetheless, it was important to be silent in the sauna. Otherwise, you would be plagued by lots of flies and mosquitoes during the next summer. Moreover, there was an old proverb about the weather. If the sun is shining on Shrovetide, it will be a good year. But if it snows on Shrovetide, it will snow every day until Easter. The traditional Shrovetai feasts included substantial dishes such as fatty flatbread with pieces of pork, rasvarieska, blinis with meat or fish fillings, blood sausages with lingonberry jam, pea soup with ham, Finnish oven baked pancakes with jam and rich pastries. All of these foods are still popular to this day, especially pea soup that is usually eaten on Thursdays together with the pancakes as a dessert. The star of the day is the beloved Shrovetide bun, the Lasky Ice Pulla, a sweet pastry filled with almond paste or strawberry jam and a generous amount of whipped cream. There are two camps passionate about the filling of the pulla. One thinks marzipan or almond paste is the one and only proper filling for the bun whereas the other camp believes in strawberry jam. I actually like mixing them both together. My mother always baked them uh, for Shrove Sunday since we were kids. They are not always the prettiest or the most symmetrical ones, but they are always made with love and taste heavenly. Here are some different Laskias pullas to make your mouth water. Non più dry farfalon amoroso, notte giorno di torno girano, delle belle torbando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo gino d'amor. Delle belle torbando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo gino d'amor. Non più vrai questi bei panachini, Cappello leggero galante, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante, quel vermiglio donesco color, quel vermiglio donesco color. Non più vrai, quei panachini, quel cappello, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante. Students make the most of Shrovetide festivals, putting an exciting program of sledding competitions, music, barbecuing, drinks and wild parking in the snow. Laskiais Rieha is one of Finland's largest outdoor sports events for students. It is organized annually in Helsinki Skaivopuisto to celebrate Shrove Tuesday. Thousands of students from all over Finland gather together to enjoy the happy carnival atmosphere in the middle of the winter. The day culminates in legendary academic downhill competition, where teams compete for the title of best downhill vehicle. The historical stage of Ullanlinnan Mäki has seen many impressive vehicles during the years, like saunas, UFOs, pirate ships and wind turbines. This week, the Shrove Tuesday, coincides with the week of Hiihtoloma, or in English you would say skiing holiday, when the kids are off school. In Swedish we call it sportlov, which means sporting league. As the name suggests, it's a week for kids to enjoy outdoor sporting activities. In 1926, gymnastic teacher Santeri Hirvonen proposed a week-long vacation for school children, where the children would get fresh air and endurance for the end of the school year. The school board accepted the idea, 
And already in 1933, the ski vacation became mandatory in all public and vocational schools in Finland. The decision was significant for the entire sport culture. Besides downhill sleighing, there will be all kinds of fun outdoor activities. People go ice skating and cross country and downhill skiing and uh, just enjoying the already sunnier weathers. On Shrove Tuesday, people flock to the nearest hill after work or school. Sometimes schools organize a special fun day for pupils in the lower grades. It's a time to enjoy sunshine and the last uh, good winter days before spring begins. It's time to say goodbye to the darkest winter and start waiting for spring. I hope you enjoyed this little short video. I will add a recipe for Laskeskula in the description box so you can be part of this Finnish tradition. Have a great week!